Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hey, Calvary, you remember that uh, kid's game, Follow the Leader? Of course you did. I think every kid played it. Today's passage, Paul is actually encouraging us to follow the leader, but he wants to make sure you're following the right leader. Listen to Philippians 3, verses 17 through 19. Brothers, join in imitating me and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. For many of whom I have often told you and now tell you even with tears, walk as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their belly, and they glory in their shame with minds set on earthly things. So Paul starts out this section by saying, keep your eyes on the right leader. So my question for you is, who can you imitate? Who do you have in your life that you say, yeah, they're a model of what it means to be a Christian. They're a model of what it means to walk in the footsteps of Jesus. Keep your eyes on that type of person and follow their lead. Then Paul goes on to say, turn from those who will lead you astray. So no doubt we all have people in our lives or in our relational circle who could lead us astray. So how do we know who those are? Well, he describes them as people whose appetites rule their life. So what are they striving for? Are they striving for economic gain? Are they striving for um, recognition and power? You know, if that's what they're striving for, if that's what drives their life, they're probably not a good Christian leader. Their mind is going to be set on earthly things. So you don't want to follow somebody whose mind is completely absorbed with the things of this world and how to get ahead in this world. The other thing that he describes them as is they glory in things that should be an embarrassment. And there's a lot of that that goes on in our world today. Things that we should be ashamed of instead uh, are celebrated in our society. So you want to keep an eye on what things are they ashamed of or not ashamed of that they should be ashamed of. Because when you see these things in a leader, it means that they're heading for destruction. So if you're going to follow their lead, that means you're going to follow them right into destruction. So find those people that you can imitate because of their godly walk, because they're walking like Jesus. And if you walk like them, you'll be following in Jesus' footsteps. And then also think about what kind of leader are you? You know, you should also be the example of the person who is following Jesus. So I hope today's word for the day has been encouraging to you. And I also want to just encourage you, tomorrow is Pastor Christian's birthday. So be sure to send him an email today wishing him a happy birthday. Have a great day.